Now we'll have our call to worship by our YDIT praise team. Let's give them a hand as they come. Amen. 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 Let's give them a hand as they come. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let's give them another hand as they come. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. First, give it unto God, who's the head of my life, to the greatest chief apostle, and to our elect lady and everyone there is met the places. Come on, everybody, put your hands together. How many know he's been good?
Thank you. Let's give our praise team a hand. Amen. Now we'll have our prayer by Brother Jamal Sanders. Amen. Let's give him a hand as he come. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, we thank you so much, God, for who you are and all that you are, God. We thank you so much for shedding your light upon us to live again, to breathe again, and to yearn your heavenly word, God. Now, oh, heavenly Father, God, I ask you, God, that you bless us exceedingly and abundantly, God. Have your way in this service on today, God. Have your way on this service on today, God. Give your prayers and your desires of your people, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus. We thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity, God, for living again and breathing again and yearning your heavenly word, God. Keep Apostle Francis Xavier Rosier right now, God. Cover him in his mind, God. Touch she let Lady Lindy Lane Rosier in the body of Christ, God. Keep New Generations Outreach Ministries International in your blood, God. Bless your people, God. Set free who you want to set free on today, God. Deliver who you want to deliver, God. And make whole who you want to make whole, God. We give you the power, the glory, the praise, and the honor forever, God. In Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. For the Bible says in 1 Timothy 4 and 12, let no man despise our youth, but by thou an, an example of, our, of the believers in word and conversation and in charity and in faith. And now we'll have our step for our daily bread. Amen. Amen. Let's give them a hand as they come. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We can do better than that. Let's give them a hand as they come. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. We thank God for that step, amen. Let's give him another hand, amen. And now we'll have our praise and worship time with our YDIT praise team. Let's give him a hand as they come, amen.
knows the thoughts he thinks towards me and this is not an accident i'm alive because there's more god knows the plan he has for me he knows the thoughts he thinks towards me
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're alive because there's more. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, you're worthy and we bless you. There's so much more. To, you're alive <laughs> simply because there's more. There is more in store for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, praise team. Amen. Let's give them a hand. Amen. Now we'll have our ministry of dance by our royal kings and queens. Amen. Let's give them a hand. Hallelujah.
I'm talking to this morning. You are my brother with God's design. Look at somebody say, you are, tell them, tell them, tell them. You are. I'm talking to a sister this morning. You're going through a storm. But don't give up. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You are what God designed you to be. Amen. Thank you, Royal Kings and Queens. Amen. Would all our guests and visitors please stand? Amen. 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 Let's give them a hand clap of praise. Amen. On behalf of our Chief Apostle, Elect Lady, and our Youth Department, we would like to welcome you guys to our Youth Sunday and our graduation program. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Amen. 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 At this time, we'll have a solo by Sister Micaiah Pierre. Let's give her a hand as she come. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Giving honor to God, who's the head of my life. To our chief apostle, to our elect lady. Never would have made it. Never could have made it without you. I would have lost it all. Now I see how you were there for me and I can say 
can't talk me that I can get a Lord, have mercy. He kept me. Come on, Zach. Let's get through this. Let me take off the best praise you can have. Go ahead, he's gone. Where he's gone, we'll go with him. 
We got out of there. He's the preacher for the day. Well, go ahead. Woman, body, right now. Ah! Ah! Well, you ought to pray the word. Seconds, what miracle you need by Friday? Shout out right now. Bring the chairs up here for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give God the best praise you can. Have your seat in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, wait a minute. I need about 19 people to holler. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now they don't know what you're thinking of first, so you better be careful because you may get it. Thank you!
Will you stand and help me honor God, our Savior, our Lord, our King? Come on. Hey, Mary. To our speaker for today, Brother Sean Quainter, come on. To all of the officers of this house, the pastors and leaders, Minister Music, Lanell Boone. Amen. Have your seats in the presence of the Lord. It's something we can all take place in here. Amen. We want his mom and family to come on up here a little closer. Come on, mom and sisters. Y'all come on. His mom. I want his mom to come on. And brother and sister. Amen. Let's thank God for being here. Come on. Let him come on a little closer. Hallelujah. So glad to have our district elder, Elder Hammond. Thank you. Amen. Y'all are so wonderful here at Cathedral of Faith. Hallelujah. I don't feel no waste time. Come on. I don't hear this side at all. I don't feel no waste time. Come too far from where I started from. Hallelujah. So glad, so glad to see all of you. Amen. Once again, with all of our guests, first time visitors, will you stand? Will you stand? If you're visiting us, God bless you. Come on, come on. We're so grateful. Amen. Stand up, Wendy. Amen. If you need a new car, that's the lady right there. Amen. Wendy Hollis, the name you know. Amen. I told her brother Sean was going to be here. She says, I'll be there. Amen. Thank you so much. The Lord is faithful to us. Amen. And we give him grace. It's offering time at the temple. Come on. Our deacons are coming. Amen. Deacon. Amen. Are coming for now. God bless you. Amen. If you will, if you need a tithe envelope, have your seats. Lift your hand very high. We have the nicest ushers in the world. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mighty sharp, ain't you deep? Watch yourself. Looking rich, boy. Amen. Hallelujah. We are loving church here. And we are glad to be kicking off Cathedral of Faith number four today. Wanda Robbins at five o'clock. Amen. So we want you to come and be a part of that. We have some chairs up front. Bring her up here to the front. Amen. That's Sister Mary. That's the Honorable Mary Whipple. Come on. Amen. We're so glad. Bring her all the way over here, sweetheart. Amen. Thank you so much. She was the first female mayor of Gordon, Georgia. First black female. Amen. We're honored to have her with us this morning. Amen. This is an incredible church. Amen. This is what we do. Amen. At this time, amen. If you're using the credit card machine, are we in place? Amen. We in place. Amen. And the guy with the mask on. Amen. That's Elder Mallory. Amen. He's taking your credit card. Everybody else, will you stand all over the temple? All over the temple. Amen. With your greatest seed, your tithes, and your, I'm so glad to see Barnyard in here today. Your wife, she with you? She's working. She's working. All right. Tell her we love her. Amen. Everybody from all over the temple, will you come? But God bless us. What kind of giver? Cheerful. Let's be happy about giving. Hey, sweetheart. What's happening? Hey, mama. All right, all over the temple, will you come? No specific way. Our cash app is on the screen. We want everybody to help us this morning. Come on, all over the temple. Hey, man.
Dr. Atwater is going to come and bless our offering. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you today, God, with thanksgiving in our heart, God, telling you thank you, God. Thank you for another opportunity to give to the kingdom, God. We ask right now, God, that you multiply the offering that was given today, Father God. That you touch every member and every person who gave, Father God. That you give them everything that they need, God, so that there is no, no lack in their life. We ask right now, God, to extend this giving, Father God, so they can do anything that needs to be done for the kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray, man. Well, let's give God a thunderous praise, everybody, Pastor. Amen, amen, amen. At this point in the service, we'll have our graduation presentation by Evangelist Ray Henderson. Amen. Let's give her a hand. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. First, giving honor to God, who's the head of my life, to our chief apostle. To our elect lady and to each and every one of you in your respective places. First, let's give a hand to each and every student who made it through 2021. We are so proud of each and every one of you. Today we have a number of graduates to, ce to celebrate, to celebrate with, to honor today. First, we want to start with our pre-K graduates. They are Naya Grant, Zaniah Bentley, Christiana Pierre. If you're in the building, come on up to the front. All right, let's give our pre k graduates a hand. This one. Zaniah, let's give her a hand. All right, Harmony McCastle graduated from kindergarten this year. Let's give her a hand. Dariante Paldo was one of our middle school graduates. We have Ernest Middlebrooks who graduated from middle school. We have Kiki Robinson who graduated from middle school. And we have Antonio Jackson II who graduated from middle school. Come on up. Let us celebrate with you. We are so proud of you. We are so proud of you. Give him a hand. That's right, Antonio. Tell him. <laughs> All right. Now we have our high school graduates. Are y'all ready for our high school graduates? High school graduates, are you ready? All right. We have Javen Mullis. Zanaria Bloodser, Jeremiah Thomas, Caitlin Poldo, Summer Loveless, and Diamond Slayton. Y'all come on up. Y'all come on up. Let's celebrate them as they come. Don't stop celebrating. They made it through 2020, the year after the pandemic. All right. Now we have a college graduate in the house. I said we have a college graduate in the house. I said we have a college graduate in the house. Jessica Jones, come on up here. And get... These 
young people had a tough year, a majorly tough year, because the end of 2020, schools stopped, everything shut down, teachers stopped teaching, then we had to start all over with something brand new. So we are proud of each and every one of you because you did it, you accomplished it, you were promoted, you passed, you graduated, you made it. So go forth and drip. Drive into purpose. Come on, everybody. Let's give them a hand. Come on. Everybody standing. Man, this is that time. Uh, we, we, we do want to thank our um, educators. Amen. Uh, because it was something different for them, too. Amen. To have to teach school and maintain students um, from home and make sure that they pass. So I think every educator should be honored right now. Let's clap our hands. Amen. Before the preacher comes, he has a presentation. Come on, Sean, that he wants to give. Amen. And then we're going to... Let's thank God for his dad, his mom, grandparents, family. Come on, y'all. We do better than that, I know. Good morning, church. Real quick, I just want to say uh, I know how hard it is to own and start a business. And over during this weekend, me and uh, Antonise, we went to Miss Ayana Denise's uh, pop-up shop. And we just seen all the, the sweat and tears that you did. And we just wanted to give you something from the palace. Come on, let's give it up for Bob, Miss Ayana. Amen. Everybody standing for me. Amen. We do this at our church as protocol when it's time for the preacher to come. Amen. We want you to stand with us as we thank God for um, the word of God that's getting ready to come forth. Amen. Through this man of God. Amen. Um, he comes from just the history of preachers. Amen. Um, um, grandfather. We thank God for the gift being here. Amen. This young lady is going to come and introduce him. Amen. And then the next voice you will hear is that of Brother Sean Coyne. So clap your hands, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Give an honor to God who is the head of my life. Apostle and his companion, to all the mothers, ministers, and friends, it is the honor to stand before you today and introduce our guest speaker. He is a 2014 graduate of Howard High School Huskies. He has served in the United States Army for eight years. He has became the owner of his own business in December of 2020 where he is the youngest black entrepreneur to open up a store at the Shops of River Crossing located in Macon, Georgia. He is the oldest son of Cheryl and Mr. Quainer Sr. Not only is he a full-time soldier serving our country, he is also a full-time student where he studies at Clayton State University to obtain a bachelor's degree in business administration and management. Without further ado, I present to some and introduce to others, Mr. Sean Quainer Jr. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some praise in this place. This is my first time speaking. Let's give God some praise in this place. Hey, yeah, yeah. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I pray that today you will give me an opportunity to share my hope in Jesus, 
Help me be ready to spot the opportunity to be ready to give the word. God, thank you for love. Thank you for family. Thank you for peace. Thank you for grace. Thank you for just having a church to come to God. In your name we pray, amen. I won't be before you long. Mm, 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 mm. Let me tell y'all one thing real quick before I jump in this word. The devil thought he had me. He thought he had me, y'all. Mm. All this week. I just, you know, it's, it's crazy because I, I started to just realize I always knew that God was real. But this week have really showed me. Only because, see, the devil knew what was about to happen. I was supposed to have came before you on last Sunday, but my job stopped me. Can you believe they called me this morning and said, we need you to come to work? <laughs> I said, not today. Not today. Mm -mm, mm -mm. All right. Today is the last day you will struggle. How many of you believe that? Come on, stand on your feet if you believe that. Today is the last day you will struggle. You will be free. Whatever you're facing, just, just let it go right now, okay? All right. Well, uh, my message today, um, it is if you stay ready, you won't have to get ready. Say that with me. If you stay ready, you won't have to get ready. Scripture tells us that we must always be ready to tell others the good news. We must be prepared, as Paul writes in 2 Timothy 4 and 2, preach the word. I think that was for me. Preach the word. Be ready to do it, whether it's convention, conventional, correct, confront, and encourage with patience and instruction. Now today we're going to be coming from Matthew 24, verse 44. You got that up? All right. Ooh. All right. Therefore, you also must be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an, at an hour you do not expect. Matthew 25, 13. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor hour. Now I want to start out by saying God is a way maker. God can do anything but fail. Our tongues and our negative thoughts causes us to second guess. Like Apostle said, our thoughts can be toxic. Yeah, I listen. I listen. Watch out, church. You can do it if you believe you can. You can have it if you believe you can. When you go to second guessing yourself, you already doubted yourself. Not only did you doubt yourself, but you doubted God. Believe and have faith. Believe and have faith. Believe and have faith. When you have faith, you know and you speak like you already want. It's up to you. Let me tell y'all something. I, I, um, I don't know, but I, I had a feeling of nervousness. And the apostle said that's a good feeling. Right? I called him last night. He didn't answer the phone. <laughs> But I called to tell him I didn't want to do it no more. But see, that was nothing but the devil. So that's why I said the devil thought he had me. Because I wasn't ready no more. But I don't know, just sitting in that chair, I, I don't know, I felt kind of good. I feel kind of comfortable now. I feel like I'm in a mirror now. You got to know how to zone out. All right? Do you know how you can be ready, church? All right, one, you can be ready through prayer. Yeah. Never stop praying. Be ready for anything by praying and being thankful. Yes, sir. Also, pray for one another. Yes, sir. You know how grandma used to pray for everybody? I don't know what happened. You know how auntie used to pray for everybody? You know how the pastors used to go around and just start praying for everybody? We don't stop doing that. So we got to learn, one, to be ready by praying. Mm -hmm. Also, pray for one another. Pray that God will give us another opportunity each day to tell the people the word. So remember that. You can be ready by one, through prayer. You can be ready by sharing. One of the best ways of sharing what you can believe is sharing the story of how you made it through. How you became a Christian. Your testimony and sharing your story. Man, mm, 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 how I made it through. 
Look, the blind man said in John 9 and 25, one thing I do know, I was blind, but now I see. Yeah. Number three, be ready to learn. Yeah. As a Christian, you want to know everything. Stop thinking you're better than everybody. Yeah. That's one thing we are. We think we're better than everybody. You think you're better than everybody. You got to stop thinking you're better than everybody. We all the same. We all got hands, we all got eyes, we all got noses, we all got feet. Should I keep going? I hear this side, I don't hear this side. All right. Stop thinking you better than the next person. You ain't going to know it all. As a Christian, y'all, we don't know it all. When it comes to the questions that people will ask you, don't be afraid to say you don't know. But, but don't just stop at that. Go find the answer. One thing I used to do, I used to call my uncle and see and everybody didn't notice because this was just between me and him. Sometimes, you know, as a Christian, you just start to doubt sometimes. Come on now, I ain't the only one. You start to doubt sometimes. So I used to just call Uncle Brian and some kind of way he always had an answer. And it just made me feel better just to know, well, okay, on to the next question, right? All right. One thing I've discovered is that there are a lot of hard questions. But there are only a few answers. Here's one of the questions. If God is so good, then why is there so much bad in the world? My answer would be keep on believing. He had to put something in the world to test you. He had to put something in the world to keep us challenged. Don't y'all understand sometimes that's the reason why we go through what we go through? Do y'all understand that? Do y'all believe that? Number four, be an inviter. Invite people. Look at my family. I reached out to just certain people and I put it on Facebook and I said, whoever's going to come, going to come. In John chapter 1, when Phil told his friend, Nathaniel, about Jesus, his friend was deeply lost. He had thoughts. Phil's Phil's response was just three words. Brilliant. Come and see. Come and see. He invited Nathaniel to see for himself. There are some great answers to life big questions. But sometimes... What our friends need more than just an answer is to meet a great savior. You got to be ready by learning to live. We got to learn how to live, church. We got to learn how to live. A lot of us don't know how to live. Live in the light of his first coming. In other words, like his first coming matter. We got to understand and remember that God already came and he's coming back again. All right? Don't lose hope. Encourage one another. Live like today was today. All right? Keep on doing the work Jesus left us to do. Everybody has their own job. Everybody has a purpose. And you got to have faith and believe in yourself. You may not be the, your, your, your blessing and your purpose may not be the same as mine, but everyone has their own. When you remember who God is and what he can do, you'll remember who you are. You are his child. We are spoiled. Because whatever, whatever we want, whatever we want from God, all we got to do is ask for it, right? All we got to do is ask for it. When God is on your side, you can do anything. I want to tell y'all real quick about my testimony. Hold on, I ain't there yet. All right. My testimony is the palace. And I know y'all, y'all probably get tired of hearing me say it, but I'm going to keep on pushing it until I become a millionaire, billionaire, okay? All right. I, I, I went, I can remember um, going around trying to look and see exactly why I wanted to open this store. Because, see, I was driving home one day and God gave me the vision of having my own. Now, you can ask my family, I never said, I never talked about having a store. That was never in my, in my dream. I always wanted to be like a movie star, an actor, but I never thought about being an entrepreneur, right? I always used to look up at Uncle Brian and say, well, maybe one day I'll preach, but I never thought. And I'm not a preacher just yet, y'all. I'm just a speaker today. But it's loading. It's loading. It's it's loading. It's loading. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Look, look. I can remember going to this location and this location and this location. But all three of those locations wasn't what I wanted. I went to the west side, I went to the east side, I went to the south side, I went to the north side. And I think I even went home and told my mama. I sat there for a minute and said, Mama, I want to have a stove. And you know how she, "Mm, you're going to have a stove. I want to have a stove. And I can remember going to the shops at River Crossing, if y'all know what that said. And 
be real in here, y'all. They don't really want us there. If you hear me? And I can remember when I went, I went to the main office and I asked, could I speak to the general manager? I didn't want to speak to the assistant. I wanted to speak to somebody who was going to put some rules down and make some on paper. And she turned me around. Yeah. She turned me around. And I, I left out. And I can remember being discouraged. I went to work. It was on my mind. I couldn't sleep. And I went back again. Y'all, she turned me around again. So then, you know, I started to call my friends. I started to tell my sister and my brother. I think I, I think I told my dad. I can't remember. I know I called my grandma. I just started to pray. I started to pray a little harder then. I called my Uncle Brian, and I told him what I wanted to do. And I started to pray a little harder again. So then I went back, and they turned me around again. So I said, you know what? I walked around, and I seen how many empty stores they had. I said, there's no reason why I can't have one of these stores. Because, see, if he can do it, and she can do it, and he can do it, then I can do it too. So then I started to pray a little harder. I couldn't sleep. I tossed, I turned, and I said, I'm going to go back again. Now, see, that when faith jumped in. Because, see, the palace would have never been here if I would have gave up. All right? I went back. She said, come on in. Let me just go and see what this, what this boy want. What he got to give. And when I went in there, I went in there. I had my uniform on. I want to let her know I was about business. I had my EIN number. I had my, my, uh, my business license. I had my plan I already wrote out. I had my business plan, how much money I want to make, who I was going to bank with. And when she seen all that, she said, well, maybe we probably just need to go ahead and show you some of these stores. And if it wasn't, if I didn't have faith, if I didn't believe, if I didn't trust, I would never have that store now. Look, and see, I'm still learning right now as a, a, a business owner, business going to go up and down. And see, it's been good because since I opened it, I always have been up. But this month, boom, it went down. And I started to blame myself. I started to see I was getting upset with my... Uh, my employees, I said, what y'all, y'all ain't doing something right. What y'all doing? Y'all ain't talking to these people when they come in. You know, I just started to put all the frustration on them. And then I had to just put myself in my box and I said, okay, hold up. Maybe it's the rain. It's been raining all month, right? Maybe it ain't no concerts going on. It ain't no party. Something. People don't got nowhere to go. So I said, maybe I should come up with a ball, you know, something where I can get people to come in and start buying some clothes. Well, um, Pastor came to the store on yesterday. Can I share that message? Can I share that message? He said he saw four angels in the store. I never did tell him nothing about how slow the store had been. Only person that knew is Anthony and Jason. And he said, uh, Sean, the store uh, is going to be empty for 15 days, right? And he didn't know nothing about that. The sales had went down. So in my head, I said, well, let me see. I already know been 13, 14. <laughs> he said, on the 15th day, the business going to go up. <laughs> I ain't ready yet. I ain't ready yet. Come on, sit on down, sit on down. He left out the store. And a, a lady from Millersville walked in. I didn't know who she was. Um, she came to me. Well, no, she was talking. I was in my office, and I could hear when people come in and they saying whatever they say. That's how I start to, you know, I can. Li I like to listen to see what the customers saying, but they don't know I'm in the office, so I don't hear negative stuff, positive. I don't hear all kind of stuff. But I just sit there and I write it down so I can know what to do better. And this lady said, "I want to see the owner." So I came out and we talked, and she was telling me how she had her own store. And as we talked, she's, you know you can tell when people are knowing it. She just started to say stuff, and I was like, are you a Christian? And then, y'all, we, we said, I think we talked about an hour, but she told me, she said, look, I see something about this store. She said, have your sales dropped? I said, they dropped. She said, look, I see Go Big ASAP. She said, something's about to happen. And see, he's testing you because see, he gave it to you, and he gave it to you. When he gave it to you, it was all good. But he said he slowed it down just to see that you still have faith. He said he wanted to see that you still believe in him. He wanted to see that you still trust in him. And when she told me that, I just knew then that God was real because he is no, how did she know? How did he know? So I started to pray a little harder. Look, 
God helped me get through this thing. All I needed to do was just ask. And all I'm telling you guys, do when you want something, just ask for it. Don't be ashamed to ask God for it. Ask for it. Pastor told me this morning. He said, look, did you ask God for it? I ain't asked God for nothing. He said, well, look, what you doing? Ask him. So I'm telling you now, when you want something, just ask God for it. God knew the plan the devil had. He tried to set me up, but see, God had my plan already written out. What God had, has for me, man can't stop. I think I'm ready now. Your word uh, is a lamp to guide my feet in the light of my path. I say, uh, love your enemies and pray for those who pray against you. Encourage uh, each other to live in harmony and peace. Then God uh, of love and peace will be with you. Take delight in the word and he will give you your heart's desire. Seek uh, his will in all you do. And he will show you which path of love to take. Lord, uh, where do I put my hope? My only hope is in you. Believe uh, in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Do uh, to others as you want others to do unto you. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Be still, 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 be still. I hear you God, be still, be still, and know that I am God. Sometimes you just gotta believe God. Sometimes you just gotta put all your hope in God. When you trust Him, when you give Him your all, He'll give you what your heart desires. He'll give you what your heart desires. I came to tell you. I came to tell you. Oh, I came to tell you.
Give the Lord praise. Everybody stand right here. Everybody standing. Amen. Dad, will you come? Amen. Will you pray the prayer of strength back upon his body for us? Lord, we come to you now. Knowing that you are God, you are God out by yourself. Lord, we want to thank you for this day that you put upon us that didn't nobody know this day was going to be. Lord, when you're storing a man, something that you want to do is nothing that nobody else can do. I've seen stuff come out of this young man today that I've never seen. And I've been his father for over 20 years. And I want to just tell you, thank you, Lord. I want to thank this church for just giving the opportunity to just, just see what God can work yeah. through him. Lord, I want to thank you for just letting two people that I know watch upon him that's very strong. And he's there right now since he's been born. I want to tell you, thank you, Lord. Lord, I want to thank you for just bringing this church together and just being a church that's strong. And I just see it all over the walls. This is a strong church. And I see this church going forward more and more and more and more. Lord, I want to thank you for the, my family that came to support him. Lord, I want to just ask you to do, take him now and take him further than you ever thought he could ever go, Lord. Lord, I wonder what I'm going to do with my brother Brian Bevel. Lord, I see it and I want to tell you, thank you. Thank you. I said, Lord, I don't know who my pastor will be now, but Lord, I think I see something coming. Lord, I want to tell him, thank you. Lord, now look, I just, oh, I just see somebody just made me smile. I say, Brian is here. And I see you, and I want to tell you, thank you. Lord, I want to ask you to do this and more in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, will you help me? Father. Everybody, I stretch, I need you here, my head, come on, say it, so to thee, no, no, it's your turn, I Grab it. We draw. Come on. That's it. 
for this preacher. Come on. Come on. Thank God for Brother Sean. Thank God for Cathedral of Faith. Come on. Amen. Pastor um, Jackson is coming. Amen. God bless all of our graduates. Amen. These babies was most of them was born in this church. Amen. This baby was born. She was she was born in here. Amen. So we have five generations in this, five or six generations in this church. Amen. So I'm excited about what God's going to do, what God's going to do for this preacher here and through this preacher here. I'm excited. Amen. Don't forget at five o'clock today, what time? Five o'clock, we'll be launching our fourth church. Amen. 295 North Davis Drive. Amen. Sean asked me in office. He says, how do you pass the four churches? I, mean, I told him, it's the Lord's doing. Amen. You have to know what to do, how to do it, and keep on moving. Amen. So we'll be there. I want you all to join us today at 5 o'clock today. Be there at 4 o'clock so you can eat and help feed the community. Pastor Jackson is coming. Copy your hands from everybody as they come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so excited just to be back in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we want to thank our speakers for today. Great job, great job, and great subject. Hallelujah. You know what time it is. It is time for us to bless our leader. I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to do something different. I want everybody standing. I want everybody standing. We're going to call this what you call a 30-day turnaround seed. So I want everybody who can give a $30 seed to our chief apostle to come stand in front of me right now. Now, with this seed, what I'm saying, the reason why it's a 30-day seed, because of a 30-day turnaround seed, because whatever's going on in your life, you're going to see it's, you're gonna see something manifest in your life. Some change is going to happen in your life. Now, I'm not just saying it just to get some money. I'm telling you this because this is what I see. When I was asked to do this, this is what God told me to tell, to tell the, the congregation. Hallelujah. It's called a 30-day seed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start this off with a $50 seed for my chief apostle. That's what I'm going to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm careful. My wife, I know you're holding the baby. Can you give uh, get a credit card? I want, I want to make sure this is this is done. Hallelujah. I don't know that song, Chief. I don't know that. Yes, hallelujah. All over the building. Get in line. Don't miss it. Whatever you have. Whatever you have today, go ahead and get in line. I'm telling you. You will see this turn around. Go ahead and start giving all over the building. Hallelujah. Yes. It's a turnaround seed. Turn around for our apostle. Turn around from yourself. Turn around for the city. Turn around for yourself. I say, Hallelujah. All right, Tony, thank you. Hallelujah. I say, Hallelujah. I've been running. I've been running. Running for a long time. Time is winding up. You better make up your mind. And if you're not late in the evening, sun is going down.
all stand up and clap our hands as I have the pleasure to introduce our leader, our pastor, Apostle Bertie Q. God bless you, everybody. Saturday. We thank God for all of our guests today. Don't forget to tune in to 107.9 FM on your dial. That's WDDO 980 AM. We're very, man, we have um, the most powerful youth department in the world. Amen. I do want our youth department to know that the swimming pool did come in. Amen. But it did not have all of the parts. So we want to make, that's why you see all of this stuff, basketball goals, soccer. Come on, y'all. Amen. It's for our youth department here um, as we grow our church. I believe that God can do anything but fail. I believe Deacon Quainter that he's the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. As a matter of fact, I believe that if the woman touched the hem of his garments and was made whole then, we can touch the hem of his garments and be made whole now. Come on, I got the right church. I, I certainly believe I have two minutes and we're dismissing that by his stripes, we are here. And since I believe that I asked God to touch this woman's body, touch her legs, her knees, heal her from the crown of her head, strengthen her. Come on, Zion, restore her. You're able to do all things but fail. It's nothing too hard for you. And God, we stand right now that the very joints in her knee, the cartilage, the nerves, yes, be re rebuilt right now. That her walking will be easy this week. Her standing will be easy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, she wants you. She needs you. In the name of Jesus. Somebody holler. Strengthen the Lord. Strengthen the Lord. Y'all didn't holler. You're able to do it. Her son been free. 